Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Time for Tarot here to do your March 2021 reading. This is going to resonate for the Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising and any other planetary position you have as Scorpio. If you would like to support my channel, go ahead, give me a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified each time I release a video. Beloved, what does Scorpio need to know through the month of March? What can Scorpio expect through the month of March? No longer juggling. So you might have been really tempted to put your financial gain into some sort of investment and you're no longer juggling that idea. Ooh, some of you Scorpios are going to be investing in the month of March. I suggest cryptocurrency. I'm personally invested in cryptocurrency. And let me tell you, Scorpio, I am making the money moves. So if you've been contemplating investing, making a savings account, I highly recommend investing in cryptocurrency. Ooh, so you're heavily involved in an air sign or an earth sign. This could be an air or earth sign that has both air and earth in their chart. You have the queen of swords here with the hierophant. So there may be some sort of truth that's going to be released. There's something that you or this individual has been involved in that they have not been telling you, Scorpio, and they feel like this was kind of a, a truth that needed to come out. It's something that has really been bugging them through the last few months. Scorpio, this could be you or this could be the person you're dealing with. I'm sensing Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and also Taurus with the Hierophant card here. You could also be involved with a Sagittarius with the Magician card here as well. So yes, um, some of you Scorpios are really, when this truth comes out, you're not going to know what to do with the pieces. You're kind of going to be shook because it's something that you were not expecting. And the moon card here. So yeah, definite secret has been laid out on the table. If not already, it's going to be soon within the month of March. You have the seven of pentacles here in reverse. So you're no longer stuck on some situation that isn't evolving you're kind of done contemplating and waiting for the progress to show up you're gonna start putting your action into it and making the project happen the process towards the project happen on your own whoa oh wow eight of pentacles so you have the seven of pentacles in reverse followed by the eight of pentacles in reverse you've definitely been putting a lot a lot a lot of time and dedication into something and you are sick of not seeing the progress towards it this could have to do with the earth sign or a relationship in general you've been putting a lot a lot of energy into this connection trying to make it work trying to have a beautiful outcome regarding your connection and you're kind of stuck because a secret has definitely been released and laid out on the table and this is just clarifying for you that this relationship is not going anywhere if you would like this relationship to go somewhere you guys both have to accept what is going on and fix that sorry guys i had to grab a few of the cards judgment didn't did come out upright so definitely something is gonna have to be reprimanded so there's some situation that happened involving a Sagittarius, an earth sign, or an air sign for you, Scorpio. And you're going to have to come up with some conclusion where you want to go next regarding this situation. It really hurt you, Scorpios. It really left a toll on your energy. This is something that you were not expecting to happen to you. You did not expect this person to have this secret that they've been keeping from you take into consideration it may not be a secret so don't start freaking out that your significant other is keeping a secret from you this is only going to resonate to a select few scorpios out there you do have the eight of wands in reverse so yeah there's a definite connection there's a definite passion of yours that you've had in the making for quite some time and you're not seeing any progress beloved why is scorpio not seeing any progress what must scorpio do in order to release this state of being so you have the ace of pentacles here with the eight of swords so you have something on the way to you scorpio you have some form of realization that will bring you into the success you want financially into the stability you want 
However, you're keeping yourself trapped there with the Eight of Swords. So I believe, Scorpio, that when this situation does come out onto the surface, the main thing you need to do is not tie yourself up and keep yourself bound to the situation. You need to let go, express what needs to be expressed. If you have a lot of emotional built up, which I know you do, Scorpio, because you guys tend to really keep everything sunken deep, deep within your subconscious and it all bursts out and that's when all hell breaks loose, okay? That's personal experiences of Scorpios, okay? So there's definite resources that want to come in for you, Scorpio. Beloved, what is the outcome for Scorpio in the month of March? When Scorpio release this burden, what is going to come forth in their situation? What's coming in for Scorpio in the month of March? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I think what this is trying to insinuate is that you put a lot of your time and dedication into an earth sign. You have put a lot of your emotional security within this certain individual. And in the month of March, you're going to come into the release of this situation. So you're definitely going to be dropping the ties that you have in this connection. Some of you Scorpios will not be breaking up with this individual. However, you're going to be communicating what needs to be communicated in order to feel less dependent on this connection. You do have the Queen of Cups in reverse as well. So you do have two Queens in reverse back to back here. You could heavily be dealing with someone of femininity, of feminine. This could be you, Scorpio. You could be a man, but you have more feminine traits and you really... You really sink deep into your emotions and you really get attached to the things that make you secure. And in the month of March, you're going to be finding out ways to release those attachments. You're going to have a different mind frame that's going to be coming into fruition in the month of March for Scorpios. What is the final outcome for Scorpio? What can Scorpio expect towards the end of March? What is the outcome for Scorpio when they let go of these attachments? Beloved, what is the outcome for Scorpio? Yeah, so definite people are going to be really upset at the fact that you conjured up a way to speak your mind. They did not expect this out of you, Scorpio. The individual or individuals you are dealing with are really just going to drop their swords and walk out of the situation. They're not going to put up a fight because they know that they're in the wrong and that you are not. You also have the number five here. So that's concluding that enormous change is going to be happening regarding the way you communicate and the energy that you put into friendships and love relationships as well. You have the three of cups here. It could be a releasing of a third party situation. That could be what the secret had came out of. There could be someone that your lover was associating with, whether that be friend, family member, or lover that really upset you. This person could be involved with the wrong type of crowd and you're on the outside seeing that, Scorpio. Um, this could also insinuate really happy times coming out as well for your Scorpio. Uh, expect a much more profound sense of ease. You're going to be releasing these emotional buildups that you've been holding on to for a really long time, Scorpio. And that's a good thing. So we're jumping into which chakra is most active for Scorpio in the month of March. So let's see which chakras are going to be the most active for you in the month of March. Please clarify this reading with the most active chakras for Scorpio, beloved. What are the clarifiers for Scorpio? I'm trying to make it where you guys can see me shuffle. It was a little hard for me to set it up. So this is as good as we're going to get for right now. Okay, you guys. So we did have a card that fell out. Ooh, the star card. How beautiful. So yes, you're connected deep, deep to your heart chakra at this time. Your heart chakra is vibrating at such a high frequency in the month of March. You're really going to tap into what is going to fulfill you all the way around. What's going to make you feel the enormous amount of love that you deserve. You're really looking at what you desire and the way you're going to go about getting what you desire. 
some of you Scorpios are going to be seeing a shooting star in the month of March. And my guides are heavily reporting me to tell you that you need to make a wish on this star. Even if you believe that it's a load of crock and that it's not going to make a difference, it's going to make a difference. If you believe that you wishing upon this star is going to bring in your emotional, your emotional fulfillment, your financial security, it's going to happen, Scorpio. With the six of coins here, you've been having very, very blocked receptivity at this time. I see that you've been giving out much more than what you've been receiving. And that could be why it's followed by the star card here. You could be wishing upon a star that you're going to come into a better connection where you're getting granted what you deserve and <clears throat> the six of coins here is associated with the third eye chakra so you could be tapping into what you can't see on a physical plane but what you can see on a multi-dimensional plane what you see in the subconscious um you're seeing something that isn't on the physical plane you're realizing that spiritually you aren't receiving back what you've been giving out to the people that you love any other clarifiers for scorpio in the month of march and you have the five of coins with the four of wands oh wow so you have throat chakra energy here speaking what you deserve speaking out what you desire and then you have the four of wands here that is associated again with the heart chakra card so the only way that you are going to get what you desire out of life is if you recognize what is no longer serving you with the third eye with the third eye chakra and what you vocally express so it's really big about really tapping into what you see on a spiritual plane and speaking that out in order to be fulfilled emotionally so it's kind of the step back of each chakra so the third eye to the throat to the heart you're never going to be emotionally fulfilled until the chakras up here are fulfilled as well does that make sense to you guys so yeah definitely expect a much more secure life in the month of march you're definitely going to be recognizing what you deserve and you're going to be experiencing enormous change and transformation. We do have the butterflies here. So you're definitely evolving into something much more grand, something much more beautiful. You have the wheel of fortune here also associated with the heart chakra. So yes, you're discovering the tools that you have in order to regain a new sense of being you're deserving of this scorpio don't ever think that you deserve to be in this five of pentacles state you do not deserve to be burdened and hurt by others and left out in the dark with no financial security you deserve the wheel of fortune you deserve the four of wands you deserve the star and you're gonna go and get what you deserve scorpio i have faith in you so let's see which goddesses are heavily watching over scorpio in the month of march you have focused intention keep your unwavering thoughts feelings and akin akins oh my god actions focused on your target and you will make your mark so stay focused throughout the month of march there's definitely going to be a lot of outside interference interferences that are going to try to step in the way of your growth as long as you stay focused in the month of march you are going to make your mark scorpio any other goddesses extending a helping hand for scorpio in the month of march you have the arts express yourself through creative activities so if you Scorpios have been interested in music, in theater, in makeup, in anything that has to do with creativity and art, really tap into that because that's going to really motivate you and really make you feel a lot more secure. It's going to be almost like your own, your own personal medicine. You also have Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. There's going to be something that you're going to be able to do in the month of March, Scorpio, where you can help the world become a better place. That is beautiful, Scorpio. Aww. So let's see what's lurking in your guys' shadow side. 
What is it in Scorpio shadow side that must come to the light in the month of March? What is it in Scorpio shadow side that must come to the light throughout the month of March, beloved? Jealousy, envy, punishment, and changing course. People are going to be enormously jealous of you in the month of March, Scorpio. And what does that mean when people are jealous? That means you're doing something right, doesn't it? Once you start taking care of yourself and neglecting what other people view of you, that's when you're going to be popping off and making your mark. You have knowledge, study, learning, and education. Scorpio, if you've been having the intuitive nudge to really start studying a particular topic, that is your clarification to do so. The universe really wants you to know or the universe really wants you to study a particular topic of interest that you've had in mind for quite some time. You also have reason, listen to advice, think clearly, and intellect. So there is a reason this is happening, and you need to listen to your mind, and you need to listen to your gut. You need to align your mind, excuse me, indigestion, guys. <laughs> You need to realign, realign your mind, your heart, and your gut because you really need to start listening to why the situation is unfolding. There's some bigger picture to it that you're going to come into the understanding of towards the end of March, Scorpio, and then past the, the past the prison, bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. The universe wants you to let go and transform and step into a whole new era of yourself. The past is your prison, Scorpio. There's no reason for you to keep living in the past. The best advice I can give you is live your life in the present moment every day of every second. And that is when you're going to be able to live a much more fulfilling life. And ecstasy. See, yes, that's clarifying. Once you start living in the present moment, Scorpio, that's when you will be able to let go of your past pain, your past hardships, and the wrong that people have done to you. You're a very sensitive sign, Scorpio. You really allow the thoughts of other people and the way that they look at you, you really take it into consideration. And sometimes you believe that, Scorpio. And what I'm here to tell you is that what other people view you doesn't mean anything. It matters about how the way you view yourself. The way you view yourself is the outward is the outward version of the way other people are going to perceive you. If you don't love yourself, Scorpio, no one's going to love you. Because we're all energy and we're all magnets and we subconsciously bring in that how do I put this? So if you're if you're constantly dogging down on yourself, constantly, I don't deserve this, I don't deserve that, I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not smart enough, you're going to paint that picture for other people to view as you as well. you got to start telling yourself, I am beautiful, I am so intelligent, I am so worthy of love, and that's when it will start coming in because other people will believe that as well. So right here, uh, the romance angels want you to know that you deserve love. You are lovable. Scorpio, stop doing this to yourself. You deserve love. You deserve someone who truly, unconditionally loves you for you. Some of you Scorpios are going to be letting go of a significant other that does not love you unconditionally. That could be that secret from the very beginning of this reading that comes out that... This person doesn't love you for who you are. This person loves you for the way that you make this person think you are. You have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Some of you are being heavily affected in your relationship by finances and career. Some of you may be the one that pays all the bills, pays all the rent, that pays everything for your partner and that's not fair it has to be equal give and take it has to be the six of pentacles energy upright and not in reverse like i got earlier and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so some of you scorpios are really good friends with the person that you're meant to be with this could be someone that you were not in touch with at this time you guys have could have left on a rugged ending and this is who you're meant to be with. Some of you Scorpios, the person you are with currently is not your soulmate, is not your twin flame. 
Any other messages for Scorpio regarding romance in the month of March? You have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Beautiful. You guys have people around you that are looking on, looking at the situation from the outside in, and they're there to guide you and to give you the best candid advice that they can. Scorpio, ooh, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Yeah, I'm getting a strong sense that someone is not being genuine about the way they feel towards you. They're kind of leading you on into a false identity. You're kind of in love or this person is in love with you, but this is a false mask. This is someone that you're not, Scorpio. So, a very interesting read, kind of dark, kind of heavy. Scorpios, let me know how this reading resonated with you down in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a big, big, big thumbs up if this resonated. Um, if it didn't, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe anyways to support my channel. I will be back for your April reading. Links in the description box down below for the tarot and oracle decks I have used as long as along with my donation link as well. Scorpio, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful love life in the month of March. Bye, Scorpio.